Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today we're going to look at how to prevent an engine failure. We've all heard the stories and many of us have experienced firsthand an engine failure. Whether it be a catastrophic con rods hanging out of the block, piston melting, bearing crushing, block splitting, belter, or just a simple gasket failure, we've all been there. Now the saddest part about all of these failures is most of the time they can be prevented with a capable ECU and just a little common sense. Using an Elite Series ECU with the engine protection functionality is a three step process. First, set up a diagnostic, then assign a diagnostic trouble code level, and finally configure the engine protection levels based on the fault condition. The engine protection function can be thought of a bit like a limp mode. It's designed to operate as a fail safe if the engine gets into a dangerous territory. The Elite 1500 and 2500 ECUs are our premium and most advanced product offerings and therefore they've got the most comprehensive of engine protection strategies. So these units allow the user to actually set up three independent stages of engine protection. So for example, you may want to monitor the battery voltage and have a diagnostic trouble code displayed when the battery voltage gets below say 12 volts under operating conditions. But you don't necessarily want the ECU to impose a 1500 RPM rev limiter under these conditions. It's just not really a big deal. It'd be more appropriate to simply illuminate the check engine light and continue with normal engine performance. On the flip side of this, Maybe the ECU detects that oil pressure is dropping at high RPM. Now this would be a condition that could lead to one of those catastrophic engine failures. So it would be appropriate when this happens to impose that new, say 1500 RPM rev limiter. The level of severity of engine protection that occurs is set up in the sensor input function page. All sensor inputs have a diagnostics tab in their setup page. It's on this diagnostics tab that you set up the conditions under which you would like the ECU to go into engine protection mode. Now level one is the least severe and level three is the most severe. So once you've set up the conditions under which the ECU is to go into engine protection mode, you then need to set up the engine protection function. It's on this page that you have control over exactly what the ECU does if a diagnostic trouble code is detected. So you have the option to make adjustments to the fuel delivery, to target boost levels, ignition timing, rev limiter, and you can even set a maximum throttle output on drive-by-wire applications. The common channels I personally use on race cars that I set up engine protection on are oil pressure, fuel pressure, air fuel ratio, exhaust gas temperature, coolant pressure, coolant temperature, and even battery voltage. Something that I also always recommend when using engine protection is to set up a check engine light output on the ECU. This way, if for whatever reason the ECU detects an issue, even if it's a minor level one engine protection sort of error, you'll be alerted so that you can either connect a laptop and check it out, or if you have a scan tool, you can plug into a cable like this OBD2 port and read the code from the ECU directly using any scan tool. There are so many things being controlled on a modern motor vehicle that worrying about an engine failure due to oil starvation, an engine lean out, overheating, or just about any other condition is not something that you should be spending your time thinking about. If you're running one of our ECUs that has this function, turn it on, set it up, save your engine. I'm Matt from Haltech and I'll see you next time.